Every July 1st, corporations pretend like pride never happened the last 30 days. All of a sudden, their logos go back to their regular colors, no more rainbows. Well, some local businesses are committed to the LGBTQ plus community all year round, whether it's by selling banned books and providing access to them, or just creating a safe space for queer people to exist and be, and be who they are. Today, we're at White Rose Books and More to talk about why and how this store is creating that community all year round. We are here with Aaron here at White Rose Books and More, and we're just gonna dive right into it. Why an independent bookstore at a time when everything is going digital? Um, so my business partner, Tanya, and I opened White Rose um, kind of as a protest as to what is happening in libraries across Florida. Um, so we were no longer able to create the safe spaces that we felt were necessary in schools, and we wanted to make sure we had a safe space for the community and to provide access to banned books. That's excellent. Yes. Getting into that, why so much of a focus on the banned books when we're sitting right here next to the, <laughs> yes. uh, the banned book section? Um, there's so many books that are being removed from not only school libraries, but public libraries as well across the state of Florida based on content. Um, so we want to make sure there's a place where people can still have access to those books. That and, is fantastic. And also to educate the community on what's happening, because a lot of people don't know. Good. Now, clearly there's a lot of support for the LGBTQ, LGBTQ plus community. Yes. What inspired that? A lot of it's been working with students that are part of that LGBTQ community my entire career. Um, I know Tanya's daughter is a bi, um, so we just, we have a lot of love for that community. We have a lot of family and friends that are part of that community, so we got to provide that safe space and that support for that community. Have you faced any sort of backlash as a result of this? Not outwardly. Uh, we did get a very strange letter in the mail that was like anti-trans. It was just an article that was printed, but it, there was no like context to it, <laughs> like no letter, no return address, nothing. It was just like, here's an article. <laughs> That's the only thing we've received so far. Did some of that come off of the appearance on Because Miami, or do you think that, <clears throat> like, was that maybe... Trying to gauge whether how much of that's local versus like the national attention that you guys got. Um, I think that was part of the national because that came about a week after we were in the AP news that went national. Ah, so that explains it then. Yes. <laughs> so, so one of the reasons, one of the things we're trying to do with this series mm -hmm. is we want to make sure that we highlight local businesses yeah. and we want to show that like there are places in Florida that are very supportive. Absolutely. And it seems like the community has has embraced you mm -hmm. and like really except because you know you guys have been around for a little while mm -hmm. and you've started to grow I know you've yes. been doing a crowdfunding and that was successful yes so that's it's really important to see like mm -hmm. you can be supportive of the LGBTQ plus community absolutely outside of the month of June absolutely and, you know and just because you know I mean pride was weeks ago how is being at pride this year helped the business did it help it was World? networking, yeah. It yeah. was um, letting people know, hey, we exist, and we are not just a pop-up. We have a community space now, and a lot of people went straight from Pride and came over here to yes. like check out we the did store. Too. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> um, so I think that was really helpful because I think people just don't know where they're safe, and so we, I mean, we have the little stickers on our windows, mm -hmm. so we try to to be as outward with that as possible, so people know we're here. But you can only do so much to reach. Yeah, yeah. How have the other local businesses here on Main Street uh, responded to you? No one has said anything negative or positive about us being supportive of the LGBTQ community, um, but they've been supportive of having a bookstore in general and having that kind of space here because we don't have one in Kissimmee. This yeah. is the only one. Excellent. <laughs> so tell us a little bit more about your mission. You've, you've, you've hinted on it a little bit, but yes. like, go into a little bit more in depth. <laughs> Um, so we, our goal is to just get books out into the community um, and to support literacy programs of all types. So we do a lot of work with like the school districts. We do a lot of work with uh, nonprofit organizations that have similar missions to us to get books out in the community. Um, I was just emailing a girl who's 
17 and she owns a nonprofit that gets banned books out into the community and she distributes them through her friends at school. That's fantastic. <laughs> Which is awesome. <laughs> um, so we do like things like profit shares here in the store. We do pop-ups outside of the store so that we can bring books to people. Um, but yeah, our, our main goal is just literacy and, and stopping book deserts and making sure people have access to information and so that they can see themselves in books and have kind of a window into other people's lives through literature. Excellent. Now, looking around the store, you can see it's not just a bookstore. It's called White Road of Books <laughs> and More. Yes. <laughs> Tell us a little, bit about, a little bit about the and more portion. So we love to support our community um, artists and makers and people that also own small businesses. Um, so we have a lot of artwork that we do like on consignment in here. We have makers that do like candles, soap, earrings, jewelry, um, other like bookish goods. So we have all kinds of stuff in here. Excellent. Yeah, a little bit for everybody. <laughs> My favorite thing is, is all of the pride flowers. Yes. This is, it, it's just <laughs> such a beautiful, they're like they're small little magnets and mm -hmm. it's every time you come into the store, it's a very welcoming yeah. space because of it. And it's one of the things I love so much about the store. Yeah, thank you. Something else I've noticed yes. is you have several books geared towards parenting, specifically towards queer kids and especially yes. trans kids. Yes. Now you did mention you got a little bit of blowback on the... Uh, the national attention. Have you noticed anything where people have seen those books and been like, oh, well, maybe that, that's pushing it a little bit? Or? No, we've actually had a very positive response, especially from teenagers, which is really funny. Um, we've had a lot of teenagers like pick it up and be like, I think my mom needs this, or I think my dad needs this. Um, so that's been kind of nice. The reason we purchased those books to begin with was because we worked with teenagers. Uh, Tony worked in high schools, I worked in middle schools. And we would hear things from our students about like, oh, I wish my mom knew this about me, or I wish my, my parents knew how to deal with this better. Um, so we wanted to make sure that kind of stuff was available. Have you seen any, any positive response from people that have bought those books and come back and like, oh, this helped me understand things or? Not yet. I'm hoping someday, <laughs> someday someone will come and tell us something like that. Yeah. Good. Good. Okay. So one last question. What book right now would you recommend for trans people to read? Um, I think everyone, and not just trans people, but I think it would be helpful for anyone who's trans to read Genderqueer. Um, that's the most banned book in the United States right now. Okay. Um, and we've had transgender teenagers come in and tell us like how meaningful that was to, to them to have that book available here and to read it and feel seen and understood. Excellent. I've yet I've not yet read it, so well, there you go. <laughs> have to put that on my list. So. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much thank for you. for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Thanks for coming. Of course. <laughs> thank you so much to White Rose Books and More, especially Aaron, for uh, taking the time to sit down with us and show us the store. We really appreciate it. Hope you can go ahead and support White Rose Books and More all year round. The way they are supporting our community by giving you recommendations for banned books and especially books for trans people to read. Can't thank them enough. We'll see you on the next one. And of course, as always, have courage and be kind, especially to yourself.